afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. It clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for April 30th to May 14th. For April 30th to the 4th, we have this ridge here that will build into the west. Zone of flow with above normal heights, near above normal heights across the east central states. And we have a trough here over Alaska and the blocking ridge here remains across Greenland. Now, um, during this period, <clears throat> We will have a frontal boundary here moving through the east and moisture pooling along it will cause enhanced rainfall in the east on Friday. And the frontal boundary would then sail across Florida and will be the focus of rain and storms into the weekend. So we're going to go floor, um, forward here now. We have Friday, Saturday, and we have more thunderstorms occurring there across the um, across Florida. Um, the ridge in the west will result in temperatures much above normal with anomalies of 15 to 20 degrees above normal and a Pacific trough and a cold front will, will start a cooling trend back to normal over the weekend. So we are a Saturday. Here's our frontal system that starts to move in. Bring snow to the higher elevations, and th this will go into early next week. You see right here on the maps. And uh, oh, yeah, there will be Pacific energy that will be moving into the plains. And will result in low pressure development in the plains, causing rain across the northern central plains early next week. There's a system here. Okay, we're going to go now to the period for for May 5th to the 9th. And the ensembles predict a zone of flow with near to above normal height. So we'll look at the ensemble, here's the European, here's, um, let me see, here's, here's the, Euro here's, um, the NEFS and European ensembles, but, um, take a look at the GEFS, most of them have below normal heights here in the east and in the west and also the um, also also let me go I can never find this I was have a hard time hold on I can't get seem to get it. I'm wasting time. But um, the European members have below normal temperatures in the in the west and the east. So as a compromise for this forecast period, I am calling for above normal temperatures here, near normal here. Forecasting numbers are four to eight degrees above normal and for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation here, above normal precipitation for this region. And the probability of below normal precipitation here is 35 to 45%. And the probability of above normal precipitation for this region is um, 35%. Looking ahead for the period for, for May 10th to the 14th. And the European ensembles and the GFS depict a ridge in the west, trough in the east. You can see this is your this is GFS. Here's the European ensembles, while the other models keep a zone of flow across much of the nation. And if we look at the European ensembles for this period, um, I don't know if this is what. Oh, 
Okay, I think I just had it or I missed it. Okay. And we have the European ensembles for this period. This is for the ninth. We'll go forward. Still have below normal heights, most uh, some of them. And if we go to the um, European, can't get this now. Okay, but the the G um, the other months picked a zone of flow with above normal heights across the country. So for this forecast period, I am calling for. Oh, wait a minute. I had the wrong. Okay, got to back up a little bit. Here's the precipitation outlook for the first period. This is for um, May 5th to the 9th. And I'm calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence 35 to 40%. And then this is the temperature outlook for this period. This is for May 10th to the 14th. They got mixed up. Sorry. Calling for... Um, Above normal temperatures here with the numbers of two to four degrees above normal, below normal temp above nor yeah, below normal temperatures here with the numbers of two to four degrees below normal. And for the this period precipitation, calling for a little change in the precipitation anomalies. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for April thirtieth and May fourteenth. Thanks for coming Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.